You're caught in a struggle Growing weary Doing well I want you to know That you're not alone Take off your defenses You don't have to do it by yourself Be still Be still and know that I am God Good day people This is the Awareness Church Outreach Messages I'm Reverend Cece Today I'm coming to you with a message um, based off of a recent current event. It's been all over social media and uh, televisions where they're broadcasting it. It's like old news today though. <laughs> it just happened the other day. Um, the, entitled, the title of the message is Warning. Stop applying God's words upon godless people and their lifestyles. Warning. Stop applying God's words upon godless people and their lifestyles. Or anything about God upon godless people. Other than what God has said about God ungodless uh, about godless people, I'm sorry. Okay, so here we go. Recently, um, some current events that sparked this message where, once again, another loved actor, celeb, I'm going to call the celebrity celebs, who supposedly spoke words of wisdom to W. Smith at the Oscars after he slapped the host, C. Rock, for an ill-timed or insensitive remark about W. Smith's wife's buzz haircut, supposedly due to alopecia. Famed D. Washington was quoted as saying to W. Smith in private some words of wisdom. He said to him, be careful at your highest moment. That's when the devil comes for you. W. Smith shared these words with the attendees as words of some comfort, some sort of comfort um, or wisdom. There have been so many others who are not Christians and do not live for God, but self and the world's praises who often pull the God card words out or uses Christian lingo to show that God is on their side in life and in their circumstances when it is so far from the truth but it is the right behavior for them to show when they are in a bad or tough situation at least that is what they have found out that works for those in the limelight as the celebs frankly i don't keep track of their lives but I do catch things when false teachings and lifestyles are being shown to be somehow connected to God and being Christian when they are absolutely not. This brings confusion to those trying to get to God and or seeking to choose how to walk with God or not and causes others to believe that they can live life any old way and God will be with them. This is not so. And when you are not truly living the life, you cannot give endorsements about it. Your teachings will be false and your wisdom is not of God. It is sensual, fleshly and worldly, according to the book of James, chapter 3 and verse 15 of the Bible. If you are going to say anything, say it in your own name and leave godly things out of it. See my video entitled leave the godly things alone either be with god or leave the godly things alone how do you give godly wisdom if you yourself are not known to be of god you can't 
and there are ways to know the difference between God's people and those who are not and those who use godly words in timely moments and don't have a life in God to be able to wear the garments of godly words of God or the weapons of the righteous according to scripture to back up their so-called godly words or acts please stop you will be judged by God please stop for the souls of others that you have made fall along the way because of your falsehoods in your own life W Smith and his wife and family have been living their ungodly lives and twisted marriages and family life for years now and have tried to make it seem okay and cool because you know W Smith is cool by trying to be so transparent to the social media about their lives and it seems that it is flipping upon their heads now in this season and their lifestyle has become such a joke and it is not cool and never has been and if they did not want the negative press then they should not then they should have kept their lives private and out of the press but some people think they are so special that they can say or do anything in their lives and with their lives and it will be okay with the fans of the world but it is not their family lifestyle and marriage is a bad example to others all around the world all around the world what's cool about that nothing absolutely nothing as Christians sometimes our reaction to people like this is not to pray for them because we feel that they do not really want God or prayer and so we forget to hate their sin and to love the sinner into the kingdom of God God forgive us so with that said let us pray not only for the celebs but for the misguided people who do not realize that they are sending confusion such as D Washington and others and false teaching and modeling a false gospel and lifestyle showing and telling the world that you can live like the world and still claim the blessings and protection of God through Christ it is a lie in Jesus name please stop it for your sake and the sake of your fan followers as you will be held accountable for everything done in this body for being a stumbling block to others as Christians we all like certain actors and actresses and some of their movies too but we do not applaud the sin-filled lives of them and many we cannot applaud their work or even watch it because of their true lifestyles it would really be something if we could see someone come through the fame and fortune as true Christ followers there are some you know but not many make it they usually sell out to the fame and the glamour of it all but the real reason is is that it is of the world and God is not in it that's why people have to choose the world over God to be a part of it and vice versa people sell their souls to gain worldly lifestyles and then they thank God for it as if he had anything to do with the life path the life paths of the ungodly review Psalm 1 the book of Psalm 1 and you'll see what I mean about that the life path of the ungodly versus the life path of the godly in this video you will see an article that lists many who have thank God I'm talking about many celebs who have thanked God for ungodly life career choices and awards and lifestyles of which was their choice in life apart from God Christ Jesus God wants everyone to know the truth about what we are doing and how we are living because it matters and if it does not matter then why are they trying to use God to make themselves look better to the world it's the wrong way people this is not how you get to claim God upon your lies 
Seek him first and seek him truly and he will show you. And it is in his word, but you need his word plus a real right relationship with him through Christ Jesus to get the real deal and become a Christian. Then they can really thank God for the blessed life that he will give them. The gifts and callings upon my life as a prophet seer is to bring order pertaining to the household of faith, the house of God, by helping others live for God through Christ more correctly. So I am called to bring warnings and to tell people to take heed at subjects we are to address in life as Christians and as prophets. Many can play act the part of a Christian. But the only one that will be fooled is truly the ones doing this in life. Even sinners know you are not the real deal, a Christian. And people put up with the pretenders and the wannabes because you are no more than entertainment for the masses. It does not mean they believe in you or what you say, but sometimes they do. Know the truth in God. And let God's truth make you free from all the drama trauma of life and give you truth, real life, joy, peace, and power in God's Holy Spirit. Then you have something. You have God. Some websites to review are listed on the video here. And um, it's under um, Saintly Living, Wicked Traits of Ungodly People. Check these out and I'll give you just a, a real quick um, review on what I was just talking about and the difference between godly people and ungodly people. You think you know, but then you guys are so smart, you're tripping over your own knowledge and your own ability and stuff. And the reason for that is because you're not of God. Okay, and then another link is the characteristics of an unbeliever. Because the world is, is acting like they confused, like they don't know who the ungodly people are and who the godly people are. Well, we're still here and we're here to tell you we're the godly people. We know who you are. And it is our job to tell people this is a warning. Take heed. Change your ways. Get to God and get this thing right. Or you will be judged for it. Scripture references to keep in mind um, are listed also in the video here. Um, one, and this has to do with, with the message here that I just gave to you. Um, do not give what is holy unto the, unto God. Um, excuse me. Do not give what is holy unto God. Dogs. I'm sorry. Do not give what is holy unto dogs. Dogs meaning ungodly people that's what the scripture says see matthew 7 6 do not call what is evil good and what is good evil see isaiah 5 and 20 these are books in the bible old testament new testament why do you use god's words or call on his name and yet you do not live what he says jesus said in luke 46 and 46 you know why do you um why do you call me Lord, Lord, and you do not do what I asked you to do? You do not keep my words. You do not do my words. You do not do what I say. So um, why are you using the things of me, you know, but you don't live for me? So that's what he was talking about in Luke 6, 46. And that's what I was talking about in the message here. Why do the ungodly claim the word of God upon their lives that does not pertain to them? I already explained it to you, but there are scriptures that will go over that with you as well and get you to the point. It does not give them points or a pass with God. You can do all these things. Some people think that, you know, there's luck, you know, that you can get a pass with God or you racking up points with God. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and it's just not true. Um, see, Acts. 17 and 30, Jude 14 and 16, and Ecclesiastes 8 and 13. It speaks to this subject area. 
These are books in the Bible. I'm telling you about the verses in the scriptures. Workers of iniquity is what people are when they do these things. You know, uh, th there were some people, I believe it was in Matthew 7, 23 probably, and others, and it said that, you know, they came to Jesus and said, Lord, Lord, did we not do this in your name? Did we not, just because you mentioned in the name of Jesus, or you mentioned in scripture, and, and, and it doesn't make what you're doing godly. You're an ungodly person, and God calls you in his word, workers of iniquity. Because you don't, he doesn't know you. He's going to say, depart from me. I never knew you. That's what he's going to say. I don't know you. You're not of me. And so I'm here to tell you, and many other Christians are here to tell you, because, I mean, you ha everybody has an assignment and gifts and callings on their lives. This is mine. And mine is, as a prophet and a seer, is to see things that God wants me to see and to point to them and point them out to people and tell them to take heed and change from your ways and tell you how to do that. I mentioned this earlier. This is what my call is. I may not be as famous as, you know, the celebs. But this is I, I'm famous enough before God. God knows me and that's that's enough. Um, but I am supposed to do this while I'm still on this earth. Some more examples of celebs often use words of God to apply to their lives or to counsel themselves as the ungodly in with. At, um, I'm sorry. Let me, re let me say that again. Exa some examples. Celebs often use the words of God to apply to their lives or to counsel themselves as the ungodly with in times of need and troubles as if they have the same rights as the godly people when the scriptures do not affirm this to be true and this is what i was talking about um d washington and his words to w smith about his, you know about what was happening to him at the oscars and what what was happening to him actually in his his life right now you know But they don't apply. If you're ungodly and you have no intention of be, being godly or seeking God out and stuff, it don't apply to you. Only the ungodly things apply to you. Okay. And so the devil doesn't need to chase after his own children. So if you're not saved, you're still a child of the devil. Okay. That's how it works. And um, ain't nobody do nothing to w smith but what he did to himself you know and what's all behind that you know i don't it doesn't matter how famous you become how skilled you are how gifted you are how talented you are how much money you have <clears throat> excuse me none of that matters <clears throat> you know one general one of the general principles is it, it rains on the righteous and the unrighteous the ungodly and the godly so you know life happens to us all but what's the difference is between the ungodly and the godly and the righteous and the unrighteous is the fact that the righteous and the godly have god on their side but the unrighteous and the ungodly do not so non-christians you do not have god on your side not until you get god so you you can't be reaching over and trying to get something from god you know, and saying it's of God when it's not. The devil helping you do what you do. Okay? For his own purposes. And he plays dirty. So he might smack you around. He might put you in bondage. Addictions. He might ruin your marriage. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, <clears throat> and you have no recourse. You know, but to go through it and help from hum other human beings who are also lost. Unless God, you know, unless you let God send somebody godly your way and you receive their help. That's the only way you're going to get there. But you got to get God first to get some real help in your life. You do not get a godly overshadowing over your life as an ungodly person and God's spirit indwelling within you because you are a public figure, celebrity or a rich or high or popular or have a popular status in life you don't get it 
you know, you don't get God because of being those things. Just because you're all that in a bag of chips. You don't get God on those grounds. You get him the way he says you get him. And it's in his word, the Holy Bible. Without becoming a born again Christian, you are listed and considered as the ungodly. That's who you are in scripture and that's who you are in life. And God does not claim you as his own, nor does he have the responsibility to come to your aid. And if he does anything in your ungodly life, it is to draw you unto himself to save your soul. That you may become a born again Christian. And then the whole word of God will be your counsel and will work in your life. Then you can apply the godly words and all the good things that God has for his people. Until then, your life is controlled and influenced by the evil one, the devil in this world. Period. Telling people otherwise or using scripture where it does not apply serves to bring or preach slash teach a false gospel and leads to confusion, making other people think that the unbelievers can benefit from the scriptures, though they are not the godly of whom it was written for and to, i.e. a false gospel or false doctrine, trying to apply and appear or cover themselves by holy or godly wearing of garments when they want to or need to but then denying the power of God over their lives in general and overall. See 1 Peter 2 and 9, Revelation chapter 1 and verse 6, Deuteronomy 17 verses 12 through 13, 2 Peter verses, um, um, chapter 3 verses 5. And it talks to you about and speaks to the subject that I just read to you prior to the scriptures. Uh, you are not of the priesthood. The ungodly is not of the priesthood. You cannot be presumptuous in applying godly things to the ungodly and deny the power of God being a fake Christian. can't do this. It's in God's word and it's in those scriptures that I just mentioned and many others. All people have the right to salvation. All people do. Through Christ Jesus which leads to a godly life and lifestyle and all the promises of God that are yes and amen. Hallelujah. But this is not so for those who refuse the born again Christian lifestyle experience. See my video on you are not a Christian. So many people walking around acting like they're a Christian talking about inferring and just outright saying it, you know, but they're not. You may be a person who is highly talented, learned, and or gifted with skills and abilities that brings fame, fortune, and favor from others in high places. And you may have the whole world and its goods at your feet or at your beck and call. But you do not have the true life and the best life that only comes through Christ Jesus, who is God and is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Not those who seek the things of the world, the pride of life and the pride of the eye. And this is the only life that they may have comfort in. But the real life is eternal life. And when this temporary life is over, those who are without Christ will face eternal damnation. It's called hell, y'all. The same place reserved for the devil and evil and wicked people. People who have rejected Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. The only way to God and heaven, the real life, is through Christ. We have many people, especially public figures in life, who freely quote scripture for their own selfish gain, appearances, and their own wicked needs of whom the word of God does not apply to. Even if my message is off somewhere in here today, and it is not. But even so, if it were, the, there's a takeaway here. The takeaway is, if you want to use the word of God, applying it upon your life situations, then do what the Bible says and get born again through Christ Jesus. Then you have the, all the rights to apply scripture to your life 
circumstances because you will be truly covered by all of God's word that he has for the godly. But until a person, any person does what God says, his word applies to the ungodly. So, until a person, any person, does what God says, his word, God's word, applies to the ungodly, what applies to the ungodly. And his word, God's word, applies to the godly, what applies to the godly. And they are not the same things. So we need to stop talking and acting like it is. You, woe unto you who are doing this. You cannot have what is godly as a benefit to those who are the ungodly. You must know the difference as God has revealed it in his word and teach the truth. Yes, there are some general principles that apply to all mankind, but then there are specific things that only apply to the to godly people, them that are God them that are God's people and of the God family. If this were not true, then why bother getting saved? Why bother claiming you know, you're a Christian or why bother claiming Christian, um, you know, um, Christian benefits, you know, or godly benefits. Um, they only apply to godly people. If you're a godly person and of the family of God, if this were not true, there is no point in getting saved, getting born again, becoming a Christian. If there is no difference, God if there is no difference of what God pays to the life of the ungodly versus the godly. If there were no difference, then he wouldn't have wrote the word of God at all, probably. And he would not have wrote it showing the contrast of an ungodly life and a godly life. Hello, look at Psalm 1. The whole chapter is brief, but it's to the point. And it speaks totally about the two lives. There's only two lives, y'all. Ungodly and godly. That's it. Ain't no in-betweens and, you know, those on the fence. If you on the fence, you ungodly. That's all there's to it. There are too many references about the contrasting of the lifestyles throughout God's word to all people so they can choose the best life. And that life is in him, the godly life through Christ Jesus. Many people... Celebs are jumping on the bandwagon, so to speak, of Christianity because they like and need to have people following them and anything that make them look good and appear righteous and in some kind of right standing or status. So they are now claiming the doctrine of Christianity, at least a twisted version one, upon their lives. But they are doing it for their own good, not because they are real Christians. And not because they believe the Holy Scriptures. Most of them are not Christians. And they do not really believe in the Holy Scriptures. Some even think they know better than the Scriptures. And are now preaching a different gospel. Than the Bible speaks of. To clean up their press. Whatever's happening on their lives. And their social like media style. Lifestyle. Or to boast their followers. Get more of them. They are the worldly preachers, the spiritual self-helpers, using worldly psychology that sounds right and appealing to the self, the nature, well-being, and wholeness, and holistic paths, methods, ideologies, and more to capture people with. Examples of them are Ayana, Oprah, Tony Robbins, and new on the scene, Tyler Perry. And many other popular personality gurus seen and known new ones and old ones today etc have figured out how to capture the masses the people into being their followers instead of followers of Christ who is the only true God but yet they will use Christianity quotes from the scriptures the Bible and profess themselves to be teachers of scripture and spirituality. But whose spirituality are they talking about? 
It's not Christ. It's usually their own. Or some other false God that they believe in. And they're claiming to teach you how to get your own. You know, because God wants you to get your own. Uh, so they use cliches and things of that nature that sound good and, and sound popular and, and sound believable. But it's not. It will lead you into more darkness. And in the end, you will be without God and on your way to hell. Okay. And you become followers of them and not of the true God. Have you ever thought about that? You know, that you end up following them. You don't end up following God. How come they know about this God, whatever God they talking about, which is a mixture of a bunch of stuff. Um, and because they think there's other paths to God through, besides Jesus Christ, but there isn't. But they never lead you, <laughs> you know, to God. They lead you to them. So you, so they the mediator and the scriptures tell us that there's no other mediator to get to God, but Jesus Christ, none. So why aren't they leading you to God? Jesus, why aren't they leading them? Because they don't know him. They're not of him. Okay. And they are not of God. Okay. Okay. So this is how they do it. They usually use their own, um, their own teaching, um, their own belief in um, spirituality, uh, claiming to teach you how to get your own, but you end up becoming followers of them. Merely thanking God when done by many celebs is not genuine, and it serves to make them look better, humble, and a good person in the public light. And besides that, how do you thank someone you don't even know or live for? Their thank you, God, the celebs, when they say thank you, God, for my award. And, you know, it's very self-serving words and just something they have learned to say. You know, they have actually taught people in the public eye, you know, celebrities and and what have you, that you need to say these kinds of things because it makes you um, liked by the, the general masses of people all around the world. They It makes you more acceptable to the people and things of that nature. So thanking God is like a gimme, you know. It's almost like a get out of jail card free, you know. Uh, so anyway, um, it's very self-serving. It has nothing to do with thanking God in reality because you can't thank God that you, uh, God that you don't even know okay an example remember rapper Cardi B this was something that popped up and came back to my memory because I remember speaking on it once um, on someone's blog um, someone um, when Cardi B had got a, an award I forgot what year it was in Ooh, I forgot it was 2017 2018 I gotta have to look it up but anyway someone had the heart to tell her because when she did her acceptance speech she was thanking God over and over again for all the different things in her life you know that had brought her success and someone I'm taking it was a, not a fan <laughs> someone had the heart to tell her <laughs> Basically, he was bringing correction to her about her thanking God for her career success and telling her that it was wrong for her to do so because God is not responsible for the ungodly lifestyle she is living and have been living. And God is certainly not helping her to live it and doing what she does. He said it is not of God and he told her so. Now, hopefully Cardi B went and sought God for for real and for a changed life um, instead of maybe going in a corner and sulking about you know this attack I'm sure she thought it was a, an attack uh, against her but it was the truth coming to her you know um, but I was saying hopefully she would have sought God for a changed life because that is the only thing he will take credit for out of what she's been living is if she turns to him and gives her life over to him. 
below we have included a, a photo of that time and uh, of that event where she received the award and they said the photo is, a, is in association with her um, to thank God in. So she told them that she wore this outfit to thank God in. And when you see the outfit, it is just so derogatory and so degrading. Uh, I cannot believe she said what she said. Just having the outfit on and not having said a word would have been bad enough. But to, um, excuse me, but to claim that that she wore that outfit to thank to thank God in was unbelievable. Excuse me for the phone ringing, y'all. I don't know why it won't stop. Thank you. Oh my God. Um. So, um, I included the photo on purpose. It's not what I wanted to include, but to to make the point clear, you know. But you're gonna see um an article that lists many celebs and famous people who are in the limelight you know that we know um including d washington his thank to god is in there uh as well as i believe w smith his is in there and probably um um c rock his is probably in there um whenever they have received any kind of accolade or award or something like that for the work that they do um in their lives um and so this was the message check out our video relating to the topic of this message and more on the awareness messages on youtube um check out you are not a christian god gave me a word about that to to help people to stop what they've been doing and to find out what really a christian is um and things of that nature uh, also um another um video was the awareness project about the great self-life hope gurus of today um uh ayana oprah winfrey blah 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 uh what's his name robbins um and others check it out and you'll hear what god has to say and our messages we tell you what god has to say you know to things that affect the lives of christians uh, affect the church that affect unbelievers um, because we care about everybody and while you're still yet an unbeliever and have breath in your body you have an opportunity like we said in this message all people have the right to receive salvation through Christ Jesus but it's your choice but you are going to have to give an account saved and unsaved people for deeds done in the body okay while you were here so there is a devil just like there is a god and um and until you get god <laughs> you got the devil working in your life you know and um doing things in your life that are ungodly unholy unnatural immoral and blah 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 okay so this was the message and I hope and pray that you understand why it came out. I did not want to talk about um, that current event because as soon as it happened, I watched it live and um, by really accident, I'm just thumbing through my um, uh, channels and actually accidentally picked it up and just happened to stop just when it happened. And I couldn't believe it. I thought it was a joke or something that was fake. But it was actually the real deal. It was a lie. <laughs> and I couldn't believe it. But like a celebrity like W. Smith or um, C. Rock or anybody else that was there need anybody talking about them. You know, need any more press. You know, and they certainly don't need Christians sitting around talking about it. But everybody's talking about it and it's out there. But this is what God gave me concerning it. Because he's trying to tell ungodly people to stop it. You know, I'm coming after you guys. And, and it's not to say, oh, God is the boogeyman or oh, God is going to get us. You know, no, he is saying that you're, you're going to suffer judgment because of the choices you are making while you're still living on this God's green earth. Okay. 
And, and while you're still living on this side of heaven and you haven't made that choice for Christ yet, take heed how you're living, you know, and what you're doing. Because you're going to have to answer for it. Some stuff we're answering for it right now. We're paying for it right now. Other things, you know, will be coming. They are coming. You, you're you not going to get away with anything that you have done in this body, you know, on this earth, in this life, on this side of heaven. I think I made that pretty clear there, right? Okay. So, Father, we just want to thank you right now. I'm going to pray because... <laughs> So many people are doing this and they're continuing to follow others who are doing this, Lord. So we lift up, especially celebrities, we lift up um, everyone, Lord God, that are that is caught up or affected by the games that people play. And they think that it's, it's, it's almost like they think that you're winking at their sin that that you don't see what they're doing and that they're not going to have to pay for you know the little deeds the dirty little deeds that they have done and they don't call them dirty you know especially if they're special people in this world and and this is not to make fun of them or make light of it this is a serious matter and i even have a message on in the videos that is also um entitled um either be with god for real or leave the godly things alone. And that's a serious warning message. Check it out. It's on YouTube. Um, in our messages. Under the awareness messages. Okay. Or you might be able to pull it up under Reverend CC. I'm not sure. But it should be under probably both. But I'm, I'm they're there. And they are just pretty much straightforward. Um, laid back messages. To help you to receive. The word of God, the word of truth for your life. And so, God, we thank you for this word today. We do pray for the celebs and for um, people who are following them, you know. And, and my thing is, is that how come y'all have a problem with following the Lord Jesus Christ, following God versus following celebrities? I got a problem following celebrities. I can't do that. You know, their life ain't no better than mine. I don't care what they have. I'm the one who got the best life, you know, and I don't need to brag about it or anything, but I'm telling you about it. I don't need to be a follower of man, you know. I don't care how famous you are, what you do. I don't care that you're the first black president. I don't care about whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't care if you're the first woman black president, whatever. I'm still with God, y'all. I'm staying with God. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's the safest place to be. And it's the blessed place to be. And this is the way I pray. You know, when I'm praying for others, when I'm praying to God, I pray what comes up, you know, out of the spirit realm. And this is what God is telling us, you know, that that's a slap in God's face. You're rejecting God when you're choosing to follow man. Ayana, Oprah Winfrey, Tony Robbins, whatever, whoever, you know, whoever, you know, you're choosing them over Jesus Christ, God himself. And you and, and he loves you. And and he's going to let you make that cho choice all the way to the end of your life. But if you do not change your mind before the end of your life. You are on your way to a devil's hell. Because that's the consequences. You have heard of those. There are consequences. Life choice consequences. And stay tuned. I have some more videos coming up about these consequences. These life consequences that we, we act like we, we, we immune to or it's not going to happen to us. No, there are life consequences. You know. And that's what you are going to face. And, and if you think it's going to be a light thing, oh, no, it's not. It's not. So it was not a light thing for the devil to trick God's creation, mankind, into separating himself from God Almighty, the creator. So if that wasn't a, if that wasn't a, a big thing, I don't know what is. And it affects every last one of us. Okay? 
And so, God, we give you praise right now, Lord God, for those that will take heed, for those who will listen to this message again and open their heart to you, Lord God, and invite you in so that they can get on track with you and off the track with the world and off the track with following people, mere men. You know, I learned as a child, Lord, and I'm thankful for that, that the next person ain't no better than me. They can't do no more than me. You might be smarter than me or whatever, but I'm still me. And you can't beat me being me. So why do I need to follow you? You can teach me as a teacher. You can teach me as a, 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 an employer or whatever, you know, in life. But as far as me in my life, life, only God can do that. And he already made a way for that to happen. So we don't have to guess about it. We don't have to be confused about it. We just need to turn to God and get it. Receive it. And then we'll be all right. Right now and hereafter. Because there is a true life and an eternal life coming for those who believe in Jesus Christ. For those who have received him. We get not only a new life. New body, no sin, no death. We get all the great things that God has for us. And he's only told us a little bit about it in his word. But when you live with him right here and now, while you're still in this mortal body, you get glimpses of what the real life is all about as you walk and live in the spirit every day with him. And he... The word of God says, taste and see that the Lord is good. He is mm -mm good, y'all. You know, and you ought to turn your heart to God and ask him to show you. And God does, I feel like God does all the work. We have, our, our job is to agree and obey. And it's an awesome, awesome place to be in. And the best relationship any mankind could ever have he's also a fixer of what else us there's nothing that god can't do for us if we let him in jesus name father we thank you for this word today this video